Yeah. So it looks like the landlord's um, cyber criminal, who they keep bragging to me about in terms of being a really talented hacker who can get into anything, seems to be tampering with my phones again. Uh, One of these issues that has been going on is that even though today is only March 12th, 2024, um, I can't access any of my emails before March 7th. There's some kind of a problem with me accessing my emails any email that I've sent or received any time before March 7th, which was just last week. So for some reason, Gmail is not letting me access any emails that go back more than one week, which is seven days, because today is the 12th. And the 7th was actually six days ago, not seven days ago. So what's going on here? There's a great Wi-Fi signal. I mean, I'm sitting like literally eight feet away from the router. It's right there on the couch. The signal is great. Um, I have nail polish all around my phone because I'm legally blind and the phone is black. And when it's at the bottom of my black bag, I can't find my phone. It takes me like 20 minutes to find it. So the pink nail polish helps me find it when it's at the bottom of my black bag. So no, I'm not crazy because I have pink nail polish around my phone. It's actually a very practical solution um, that's very inexpensive and cheap. Anyway, for some reason, uh, Gmail is not letting me access any emails before March 7th. And the same thing is happening on the phone that I'm videotaping this on, that I'm making this video with. So I have two smartphones, two smartphones, completely different models. One of them is uh, Samsung. The other one's a uh, uh, something else, Android, Samsung, whatever. They're two different phones, completely different, two different carriers, two different service plans. And yet the same exact craziness keeps happening on both phones. So I just tried to check email on this phone right here that I'm making this video with, and it could not access any emails before March 7th, even though we're only March 12th. And Gmail always lets you access 30 days worth of emails. That's just a given without having to do a special search. But now I have to do a special search to access any email that I sent or received before March 7th, which was six days ago. So what, all of a sudden Gmail is blocking people's access to emails that are more than six days old? No, it's not. This is just crazy. So the same thing keeps happening on both of my smartphones, even though I have different carriers, different cell phone plans, different service providers, and different makes and models of the actual device itself. That is not a coincidence, folks. The reason that for some reason, someone or something is preventing me from accessing any email that I sent or received before March 7th is because in February, I had a ton of emails and legal attachments and public records results searches that I need to access right now against my landlord. The landlord is basically a, a criminal organization called the Greenville Group. And right now, Boston, the city of Boston has a lawsuit against my landlord for code violations in my unit and for refusing to make repairs. Uh, in my apartment over the last few months that the Greenville group is completely flat out denying ever happened. I'm not sure how they can try to do that and think they can get away with it. A landlord by law has to, has to, first of all, respond to any concerns or complaints about things that don't work in any apartment that they own. By law, they have to investigate any concern about, you know, plumbing problems, lack of heat, rodent infestations, broken tiles, doorknobs or locks that don't work, um, broken seals around sinks, leaks under the sink, problems with the flooring, etc. You know, crumbling plaster from the ceiling. They have to investigate all that. And then if they find a problem, they are legally required to repair it. The Greenville Group has completely and utterly not just failed to do any of this in my apartment, but refused. They are flat out refusing. To the point that the city of Boston has issued multiple citations against them for code violations in my apartment over the last 10 months that they are now denying occurred. So city inspectors don't lie. They come into your apartment, well, except for one that I can possibly think of right now. He's corrupt. He's been somehow uh, turned into some kind of an activist inspector and literally files complaints against tenants who are legitimately just trying to get repairs done in their apartment. So he's an idiot. Um, I'm not going to name names. But aside from him, the rest of the inspectors seem to be pretty professional and fair-minded, and they don't cite 
tenants for problems that are not theirs, that are actually the landlord's responsibility. So the landlord basically has been cited by multiple inspectors from the city of Boston over the last 10 months for code violations in my apartment. It hasn't been just one inspector. It's been several. And the landlord is saying that the city inspectors are wrong, that there's no problems with anything in my apartment. That's what they're saying. So I'm trying to access emails and documents that I received and sent through email um, basically last month. And right now, Gmail is completely preventing me from accessing any emails that go back more than the last six days, which is crazy. Gmail always allows you to access emails within the last 30 days. Right now, I can't go anywhere past March 7th. That's just weird. And this is happening not just on this phone, but on the phone that I'm recording this video with. So when some kind of crazy malfunction happens across two different devices with two different carriers, two different cell phone plans, two different data plans, two different service providers, but is preventing you from doing the same thing across both phones, which for me is to access any and all emails that were sent between myself, the courts, and inspectional services in February, right, so before March 7th, then you know that your phone is being remotely tampered with, that the Gmail app is being screwed with, right? Somebody's messing with the Gmail app and it's preventing me from being able to access any emails that were sent or received by me through this account before March 7th. And it's obviously being done because the landlord is a crooked, criminal, corrupt uh, business entity called the Greenville Group. And they have bragged to me about how the psychopath, hacker, and cyber criminal sex offender that they placed in the unit next to mine, unit 78, for nine of the last 10 and a half years is a talented hacker. They're not shy about admitting that they not only rent to criminals, but that these criminals have some very unique and um, special criminal abilities, such as hacking, breaking and entering, accessing the infrastructure of buildings, such as pipes, heating systems or thermostats, you know, things like that. They're not shy about admitting that they use criminals to harass other tenants and that they are denying any and all responsibility for code violations in my apartment that are their responsibility. It's their building. And several city inspectors have cited the Greenville Group for code violations in my apartment. And the Greenville Group is now in court because the city is filing a lawsuit against them. And the Greenville Group is saying, um, no, that's not happening. That's a complete fabrication. So they're basically not just calling me a liar. They're also calling the city of Boston inspectors liars. And they're also using a cyber criminal named Jasmine Arizari to continually tamper with my electronic devices and block emails and documents and communications that I try to make and, and receive regarding the Greenville Group's ongoing criminal activities um, and negligence towards me and my tenancy. So you can see it here. I can't go anywhere past March 7th on this Gmail account because all of the critical emails pertaining to the landlord's code violations in my apartment that I've either sent or received recently um, have been sent or received before March 7th. And they don't want me to, for some reason, access those emails. And that's happening right now.